rise to subtract, then state the domain. Looking at this difference, notice how the second fraction simplifies because six and two share a common factor of two. It'll be much less work if we simplify this now rather than later. So let's go ahead and simplify this fraction first. If we have six divided by two x squared y, to show the common factor of two between the numerator and denominator, let's write six is two times three. Here we see the common factor of two. Two divided by two simplifies to one, and therefore the fraction simplifies to three divided by x squared y. So let's write the original difference as two divided by three x y squared, and then we'll write minus the simplified fraction of three divided by x squared y. We need to write three as a fraction, so we'll write minus three over one. In order to add or subtract fractions, we need a common denominator, hopefully the least common denominator. So for the next step, let's build the least common denominator for this difference. Looking at the denominator of the first fraction, the least common denominator must contain a factor of three, a factor of x, and two factors of y. Now looking at the denominator of the second fraction, we need to have two factors of x in the LCD. Right now we only have one. We need to multiply by one more x, and there's already a factor of y listed in the LCD. So all the factors of this denominator are already in these factors here. And then for the last fraction, the denominator is one, so we don't need any more factors in the LCD. So this product is the LCD, which is three x squared y squared. For the next step, we need to write each fraction as an equivalent fraction with a denominator of three x squared y squared. Looking at the denominator of the first fraction, notice how the denominator is missing a factor of x, and therefore we multiply both the numerator and denominator by x in order to create an equivalent fraction with a denominator of three x squared y squared. Now looking at the second fraction, the denominator is missing a factor of three as well as a factor of y, and therefore we multiply the numerator and denominator by three y. For the third fraction, we need to multiply the numerator and denominator by three x squared y squared. Notice now all the denominators are three x squared y squared. So now we can subtract the fractions. Again, all denominators are three x squared y squared. And now we subtract the numerators. So here we have two x minus nine y minus nine x squared y squared. The numerator does not factor, and therefore this is the simplified form of the difference. However, we still need to determine the domain. To determine the domain of a rational expression, we begin with all real numbers and then exclude the values that make the denominator equal to zero because division by zero is undefined. So looking at the denominator of this rational expression, notice how the denominator is equal to zero when x equals zero or y equals zero. And therefore, we'll say the domain is all real numbers for x and y where x doesn't equal zero or y doesn't equal zero. We could also say the domain is all real numbers for x and y except x equals zero or y equals zero. I hope you found this helpful.